Okay, so uh, we're going to look at some effects that we can put on text and on pictures uh, on InDesign. Um, to be able to do this, what we need to do is we need to have our layers unlocked. We, we click on whatever it is that we want to add an effect to, uh, so that we've got the green or the red box around the outside. Uh, and at the top, what we've got here is we've got uh, an effects menu. So we've got a drop shadow menu, which does something like this. And in here, we've got an effects menu, which will do this sort of stuff. Uh, so all we need to do to access it is click on effects, go click on drop shadow, for example, and it will bring up the effects menu, click on preview, and what we can do is we can change uh, whatever we have in this option. So we can change the angle, we can change the size, okay, we can change the offset is how far away the X it is on the X and Y, so you can put it on zero, for example, see there. We change the distance, and it will allow us to give, um, allow us to add a drop shadow or to add another effect to whatever it is that we are editing. Um, a few settings for this. Okay, we you can either add it to the object or you can add it to the fill. Just turn drop shadow off there. You can add it to the fill. So I put drop shadow on the fill. Uh, I could put an, an outer glow on the fill. Sorry, an inner glow on the fill. Um, or we can add it to text, so specifically just to the text that we have that we are editing. Um, there are some quite cool effects on here. I'll just put it on text. Uh, there's stuff like um, an inner shadow, which will do things like that. There are there's a drop shadow, which is quite good. There's an outer glow, which will make it change colour. See there, we've got the white. We've got an inner glow, changes inside, can make it look quite 3D by using the bevel and emboss. The feather, gradient feather, etc., etc. And when you go into these, remember that when you click on it, we've got in here the options that we can play with. So if we're really trying to do something, we want to do something quite cool, then you need to play around with these effects, uh, and it will allow you to uh, add in some more stuff which makes your print work look uh, more presentable.